Master Dong's points of myofascial lines, the four flowers. Here we see an image of the four flowers next to common stomach points. So the four flowers are 77.08, 09, and 77.11. And these points, as well as the stomach points, are on what is known as the superficial front line in myofascial anatomy. So the superficial front line, it includes the tibialis anterior, where these points are located, as well as the quads. And here we see the tibialis anterior muscle. So stomach 36, stomach 37 are going to be in this muscle. Now on this superficial front line, though, we can see that it also includes rectus abdominis and the sternal fascia. So these points are going to have an effect on the stomach meridian and the superficial front line. The question we need to ask ourselves is why use the four flowers instead of traditional stomach points? There's a couple reasons for this. One, patients develop tolerances and they reach plateaus. Second, the four flowers often have nodules. So if you palpate down the edge of the tibia and between the muscle, you'll find that there's an empty space there and it's very common to find areas of tightness or nodules or trigger points in that region. That's one reason why you should be needling the four flowers is because they have a strong effect on the connective tissue and on the fascia and they're able to influence the whole stomach meridian or the superficial front line. Let's talk about some points for shoulder pain. So like stomach 38, 77.09 and 77.10 are used for shoulder pain as well. Now I want to show you an excerpt from a class where I talk about these things in more detail. And 77.09 is also used for shoulder pain. Now in the traditional points we'll use stomach 38 for shoulder pain and it really works best for lateral and anterior shoulder pain. And the point 77.09 is essentially, it's located on the same horizontal line. So stomach 38 is eight sun below stomach 35, and then one sun lateral to the edge of the tibia. But then 77.09 is traditionally located 7.5 sun below stomach 35, and then on the edge of the tibia. So here we see this relationship then between these two points being so closely located and that they're both indicated for shoulder pain. If we look at this and question why these can be useful for shoulder pain, we should recall that the clavicle plays a fundamental role in maintaining the integrity of the shoulder joint. And so by needling this point, either stomach 38 or 77.09, it's going to produce a result through these fascial lines and up into the medial area of the clavicle where we got the SCM and the sternal fascia joining together there at the manubrium. So I think that this is probably why, because that clavicle will act like a lever in the shoulder joint. And if there's forward rotation of the shoulders, that will also displace the clavicle and cause tension in the front of the sternum and in that area. So when there is that sort of forward rotation that will often produce anterior shoulder pain, then when we needle these points in the distal location, it will alleviate pain in the anterior shoulder and that's likely being modulated through the clavicle and the myofascial associations that it has with this superficial front line. If you enjoy this material, subscribe to the channel or visit my websites at ihsociety.com or masterdongspoints.com.